So guys, today's video is going to be very valuable. It's going to be my advice to anybody on starting out trading, where to start, how to how to approach trading when you're first starting out. That could mean your first week, first month, or you could be trading for a couple of years and struggling. I'm just going to go through my advice on how to start out, how to strive to be successful. It's a very difficult business to succeed in. 90% of traders tend to lose 90% of their money in 90 days. So I'm going to give some tangible advice. Watch to the end. There'd be good, some good nuggets of advice in this video. So I hope you guys get value and enjoy. If you do, please do like, comment and subscribe. Grow the channel. Help as many people as possible. I'd appreciate that. So let's get into it. So how, would I, how I would approach trading now, if I was starting out now, it was slightly different back in 2017 when I first started. There was less people promoting trading. Obviously, there was few people big on social media, but it wasn't as accessible as what it is now. You go on YouTube, TikTok, there's so many different traders you don't know which ones to believe. You don't know if they're legit, if they're scammers, if they're successful, if they're not. But how I would approach it personally now is I would try, try and avoid anyone flashing a uh, lavish lifestyle. Nothing wrong if it's sort of subtle, but if they're trying to entice you with material objects, cars, watches, holidays, thinking it's this easy, easy lifestyle, you can just print money on a screen and start making thousands, thousands of pounds a day. I would tend, I'd try to stay away from them. I'm not saying they're not doing that, they might be, but it does raise some red flags. When I started to learn and I joined the community, um, I originally started learning by myself on YouTube, which again, I would advise you can look for good free information. Obviously, this channel's got lots of videos that can help you. There's other channels like that as well. But there's also now because it's so popular, there's lots of channels where you see flipping a thousand pounds into a million. And I just, that just gives the wrong impression. You know, it gives a wrong impression for those starting out. They think that's possible. And the chance of that happening is literally like winning the lottery, you know, or the videos maybe have been edited. It's just not realistic. You can make a lot of money trading and be very financially successful. Not saying that that can't happen, that, that can. But there's ways to go about it and flipping a thousand pounds or 10,000 to a million is not the right way to go about it. And I believe that these people doing that are just trying to get your attention. They're just trying to get you to click on the videos, which I get we live in an attention economy. People are trying to fight. It's, it's competitive. But I'd rather make legit, tangible advice and good videos that if it, even if it gets less views, it can help those that are watching rather than trying to sort of scam and make it seem like it's so easy and I've got thousands and thousands of pounds per day. You can get to those levels, but... If people are over overly promoting it, it's probably it's a massive red flag. So I would say go on YouTube, look for people that are seem legit, are giving tangible advice that you can actually learn from. Um, I started with like live trade breakdown videos or videos like these where I was just looking at people to you know click on a video that would give me good advice and just see if you like trading. Don't get yes, you can make a lot of money trading, but don't. Think about the money to start with because it's going to take a long, long time for you to get to that level. So you have to want it. Otherwise, if, if you're just in it for the quick money, you're going to give up because it's not, you're not going to achieve it as quick as you want. I've been doing it six years. First three years, I was learning on a small account, five, £500. And that allowed me to make errors, any bad trades, any trades that I didn't know, you know, that weren't good, weren't high probability setups. I would lose. I would only lose. I was risking 1% of my account, so I'd only lose £5. So that means I wasn't making much, but I wasn't losing much. And my plan was, which I, and what I recommend you guys to do is trade live as soon as you can, because the only way you're going to feel emotions, which is one of the hardest parts and one of the hardest things to control in trading are your emotions. So trade a live account, only money that you can afford to lose. So even if, if you lose the whole account, it's not going to affect you financially because you don't want to put yourself in a financial in financially a bad position. So I traded £500 and I tried to get consistent on the £500 account. So each month, if I made 3% that month, £15, 2% that month, £10, 4% that month, £20, 1%, £5. And I just tried to, I wasn't thinking about the money at this point. I was thinking about learning the skill, understanding strategy, understanding probability, trying to understand my psychology, understanding that good strategies you're going to lose, you know, 60, 60, 65% win rate strategies, you're still going to have four or five losses in a row. So losing isn't necessarily bad. Just because you've had a losing period or losing trades, that doesn't make mean it's a bad trade. If the trade's only bad, if it wasn't part of your plan, a winning trade could be bad. If you win on a trade that was not to do, had nothing to do with your plan, that's a bad trade because you might win today and tomorrow, but then overall, if that's got a 20% win rate, the next sequence of trades that you place, you're going to lose. 
So it's not about looking day to day or week to week. It's looking at the long term, having an edge over a large sample size. So yeah, get consistent on a small account, which is what I did. Um, and then that can take anywhere between, I would say give a three year period, a three year window. I, I wanted to treat it like a degree or like an apprenticeship. When I left school and left sixth form after doing my A-levels, I wanted to give myself a three year period. My friends went off to uni. Some of my other friends got apprenticeships in, in companies. I wanted to give the same amount of time that they were doing their degree or their apprenticeship. I wanted to give to trading. So I wasn't trying to rush. I wasn't trying to have high expectations. I'm thinking I'm going to make thousands of pounds or hundreds of pounds a day in my first year. I did. I wanted to learn what I needed to learn, um, understand how it works and improve. And after that, I then went and bought, which massively helped and I would recommend is I did get into a community that helped transform my trading because I was around like minded people that would, were on the same path as you, as me. Um, they would hold you accountable. You could send your trades in and they could review them. So when people say about um, if people are selling courses or communities, they're scammers. I don't believe everyone doing that is scamming like you can tell the legit ones you can tell the people that have your best interests at heart like i say if you're flashing lavish things and promoting hundreds of thousands of pounds a month then they're probably just trying to get the wrong audience if you want to learn off someone that's genuine wants to benefit like benefit you it helped me massively paying for education but you've just got to find the right people it's like a minefield out there so i know how difficult it can be so i'd recommend learn on a small account yourself get consistent um and in that time look for if you want to take it more seriously, look for a community or look for a company that seems legit, aren't flashing lavish things, seem professional, um, you know, they seem genuine. You can get that vibe of people. And at some point, if you want to take it seriously and want to improve, a lot of it comes to accountability and your psychology. You know, you might anyone can learn a strategy. I could give you my strategy now and we'd all have a different different results at the end of the month because we're all going to interpret the information slightly differently. We're all going to have our own emotions. Some people will be more risky. Some people will be more risk adverse. So, yeah, get into a community um, or still learn. There's so many free resources like my channel, like other channels that you can learn from and just slowly start to improve the way I would see, the way I would determine if you're consistent or not is give it, you know, three, four months, see how you are, see it and review your trades and make sure you know that you're sticking to your strategy. Stick to your strategy as well. Don't deviate. Don't, if you have a few losses in a row, three, four losses in a row, don't look to change. Don't look to, oh, I'm going to change strategy because you saw someone on Instagram ma that made money today or looked like they made money today. You need to give your strategy a large sample size of trades in order for it to play out. So it's no good having five trades and then having two losses, three losses, winning two, losing three and giving up. You know, you need to give it 20, 30 trades and then review and see and see if it suits your personality, see if it suits your style of how you want to trade. But yeah, learn on a small account, improve on a small account, try to get consistent. However long that would take, it took me a couple of years. It could take you a little bit less, it could take you a little bit more. Keep working, be around like minded people, you know, support channels like mine and other people. There's a Mac Gray, he's very good. Um, you probably know about him. Michael Bamber, I watched him to start with. He helped just someone genuinely just following along the journey, giving nuggets of advice, not trying to scam anyone or they're just documenting their journey. And just take your time, connect with people like message me on Instagram. My Instagram's linked below. I'll get back to you, you know connect with lots of people because a lot of people don't understand trading they're not going to follow it they're not going to see the same path as, like see the same outcome as you they're going to assume why are you doing this what what you, what, what are you doing like you may as well it's not going to work it's gambling but if you're around like-minded people that have achieved it or are in the process of achieving it and working you can all connect and yeah just keep improving review your trades um tweak your strategy once you've got a large sample size of trades that you know can show how well it's doing and then once you're in a position where you, you're comfortable, you know how to trade, you've got experience, you've been consistent, then look to go and scale up your capital, whether that's your personal accounts or whether it's prop firm accounts, obviously be careful with some prop firms. But yeah, and I'm in the process now of scaling up my capital with prop firm capital. And that's why I'm documenting it on this channel and giving advice and from my experience and hopefully it can help people. But yeah, that, that would be the best piece of advice and some key things I would say to anyone starting out or even if you've been trading for a couple of years that on upon reflection start on a small account 
get to live money as quick as possible, but only risk as much as you can afford to lose. You don't want to go broke, just risking be, you know, risk one to 2% of your account per trade. So each trade, if you have a 500 pound account, risk five pounds. If you have a 10,000 pound account, risk a hundred pounds, you know, risk a small percentage per trade. That way, if you have a few losses, you're not going to blow your whole account. But like I say, only risk what you can afford to lose. Scale up your capital once you, well, get, try and get consistent first. So that could take a lot of time. If you need, if you're struggling for consistency and you need to be in a community or you need to be around like-minded people or learn a strategy or learn how it works and you're going to take it a bit more seriously, then look for solid communities that are going to have your best interests at heart. And then once you're consistent, look to scale up and that's the path I would go down. So yeah, if you guys got value from this video, I hope you did. Make sure you share it, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, like I say, my Instagram's down below. If you want to connect and message me or ask me anything, I'll get back to you or comment down below. I'll get back to most of the comments. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Appreciate it, thanks.